Hey y'all, James Scott. What do you do when you are faced with an emergency? What do you do when you're faced uh, with a trauma? Some people, when they go through an event uh, that is traumatic, they run to a bottle or they run to a pill or they might be run to somebody else's arms. But what should you do? You know, there's a Bible verse, Matthew 11, uh, 28 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This past week, my son uh, had a horse accident. Had a horse flip over backwards on him in the middle of absolute nowhere. We were about 9,000 feet up on the mountain, and uh, we had to call lifelike. He uh, was just pouring out blood from his mouth. We were not sure if it was his mouth or internal injuries. Uh, we weren't exactly sure what was happening. But anyways, life flight came and landed, and we were able to get my, my, my son into the, the helicopter, and off to Billings, Montana, he went. My wife and I had to ride about a mile up out of there, still. We got about halfway out, and I turned around to my wife. I said, babe, I said, we have to promise this to each other. No matter what happens, we will stick together. And we both promised that, that to each other got to our pickup and got to Billings as fast as we could. Praise God. He ended up with a couple of, uh, his jaw broke in two different places, a broken tailbone, contusion on the back of his head. But you know what? It could have been a lot worse. And I remember as my son was laying there on the ground, I said, God, I don't know what to do, but I need to run to you. And this verse came to me. It, it came and it, just, it, spoke, it spoke to me in such a way that I, I understood that I didn't need to go anywhere else. I needed to run to Jesus. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I was in a burden at that point. My wife was in a burden. And I remember my son laying there. He couldn't speak, but he had motion with his hand, and he took out his phone, and he said to me, he texted, he said, Dad, I've not been living my, my life right. I want to rededicate my life, my life back to Jesus right here, right now. And so we prayed. I mean, I had tears coming down my face, and I prayed like I've never prayed before over my son. Praise the Lord. I believe he's going to be okay. But you know what? God gave him a second chance because if you, if you know anybody or if yourself has been involved in a, in a horse that's fallen over backwards on top of you, you know sometimes it doesn't turn out very well. And so my big G God gave my son a second chance on life. And I want to encourage you who are watching this video, my God can give you a second chance. My God can give you a third chance and a fourth chance and as many chances as he will allow you to have until you take your last breath to get your life right with him. You already know exactly what I'm talking about. You know there's a, there's a million of us that say, hey, we're a Christian. But if they were to really look at your life, is there evidence that says, yes, you are a Christian? Or is it only some words that you might have said a long time ago? So, for, and some advice from a 17-year-old young man. If you know you're not living right, get right with God today. You know, the Bible says we're here today and gone tomorrow. We're like a vapor in the wind. And so I just want to encourage you. If there's something going on in your life, don't just let it keep going. Repent of that sin. Get rid of it. And get back to what God would have for you to do. I'm telling you, I am as a father, I am so thankful. And as his mother, she is so thankful. But you know, it could have been a lot worse. But our God has given him a second chance. And that's what I hope you get from this video here today. You, my friend, can have a second chance as well. All you've got to do is turn back to Jesus Christ and let him take control of your life. Give him the reins and let him lead you and let him guide you. Let me pray for you today. Father God, thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day that you've given to us. God, we are thankful, God, and so grateful, God, that you have allowed our son to live uh, through this accident. And Father, you have given him a second chance. And so, God, I pray, God, that he will take that second chance and be a mighty warrior for you someday. But God, whoever's watching these videos, Lord, I pray, God, Lord, that you would speak to their heart. Lord, if, you, if they know, God, that they're not living their life for you, God, I pray, God, that you would just prick their heart right now. God, to help them to understand and see, Lord, that they need to get their right life. They need to get their life right with you right here, right now. God, we love you. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Folks, I hope that encourages somebody here today. And I hope and pray that you can be an encouragement to somebody else. Come back next week. WyomingCowboyPreacher.org.